Hey, Dr. Romano, what are you doing outside? Hi, I'd like to show you a really sophisticated problem that I gave to my biochemistry students many years ago, and I think you're going to really enjoy it, and it'll help you for the DAT exam, and it'll help you to think logically. Let's have a look. Okay, Dr. Romano. Tyrosinase catalyzes a series of reactions using L-DOPA as a substrate. An inhibitor kinetic study showed the below graph, and I'll be showing you the graph in a few minutes. Would you expect the inhibitor to be 4-hydroxyphenylacetic acid or urea? And I'm going to give you the structures. There's L-DOPA. That's our substrate. Now, there's 4-hydroxyphenylacetic acid and there's urea. Now, I think you would all agree this sort of, kind of, looks like the substrate. So they sort of resemble each other. So if there was going to be an inhibition, it would be a competitive inhibitor. And if there's a competitive inhibitor, the Vmax would be the same, as you know. They would just be competing for the active site. If you now look at L-DOPA and urea, they don't look anything alike. They look totally different. And therefore, in a non-competitive inhibitory situation, we have different Vmaxes. Okay. Let's look at the graph, and let's look at what the kinetic study showed. And hopefully you guys can see the graph. As you can see, this bottom graph, that's going to be no inhibitor. And the top graph is going to be with the inhibitor. Now, you need to remember two things. The y-intercept, which is here is equal to 1 over Vmax. And I'm hoping you guys can see that they both have different y-intercepts. Hint, hint, they have different Vmaxes. But notice the x-intercepts are the same. Well, the x-intercept is minus 1 over the Km. We're not going to need that, though. All we care about is looking at the y-intercepts. Since the y-intercepts are different, our graph shows that the maximum velocity is not the same. Since the y-intercepts are different, the Km's are the same, though, because they have the same x-intercept. So because the Vmax are different, and by the looks of the graph, we can conclude it's a non-competitive inhibitor situation. Therefore, there's no need to resemble the L-DOPA. So therefore, we would most likely have to assume that urea is going to be the correct response here. So urea would be the inhibitor, and this would be an example of a non-competitive inhibitor. I hope this helps. Um, down the road, this will be a solid question for a biochemistry class or when you go to dental school. For the DAT exam, make sure you can understand the differences between competitive and non-competitive inhibition. Okay, guys, I hope this helps. I'll see you in study group. Hey, Dr. Romano, are you going to be out here again today? I'll be making more videos throughout 2020, and we have a nice surprise coming up with Professor Blois. More math videos, and they'll all be free. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir.